Welcome to MBLEX exam practice test. Our topic today is benefits and physiological effects of techniques that manipulate soft tissue. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which type of stones is used in the hot stone massage? A. Basalt stones. B. Granite stones. C. Travertine stones. D. Quartzite stones. The answer is A. Basalt stones. Explanation. Modern Western hot stone massage uses basalt stones heated in a stone warmer or crock pot filled with water heated to from 120 to 150 degrees. Number 2. Which modality is rooted from Ayurvedic traditions? A. Chair massage. B. Prenatal massage. C. Time massage. D. Hot stone massage. The answer is C. Thai Massage. Explanation. Thai Massage or Thai Yoga Massage rooted in Ayurvedic traditions consists of a series of passive stretching and compression techniques that work the entire body, including all muscles, tendons, and organ systems. Number 3. Which symptom is caused by the baby's extra weight putting pressure on the sciatic nerve? A. Edema. B. Cramp. C. Constipation. D. Sciatica. The answer is D. Sciatica. Explanation. Sciatica can be caused when the extra weight from the baby puts pressure on the sciatic nerve, causing very uncomfortable and sometimes debilitating pain. Relieving the tension and tightness in the lumbar region and hips can significantly reduce this pain for the client. Number 4. What is a possible contraindication to prenatal massage? A. Mood swings. B. Preeclampsia. C. Weight gain. D. Backaches. The answer is B. Preeclampsia. Explanation. There are several possible contraindications to prenatal massage, including high risk factors, preeclampsia, severe high blood pressure, or preterm labor. Number 5. Which type of massage modality has the main principle called the breath of life? A. Craniosacral therapy. B. Shiatsu massage. C. Deep tissue massage. D. Reflexology. The answer is A. Craniosacral therapy. Explanation. Modern craniosacral therapy is a form of bodywork whereby the practitioner uses therapeutic touch to manipulate the synothrotial joints by sensing and manipulating the subtle rhythmic movements in living tissue. A main principle of craniosacral therapy is called the breath of life. Specially trained craniosacral therapists are able to palpate the subtle rhythms in the body, known as the primary respiratory system. The benefit of this method, according to its practitioners, is that it regulates the flow of cerebrospinal fluid, which has numerous health benefits to the client. Number 6. Is the following statement true or false? Oncology massage is a modality offered to cancer patients. A. True. B. False. The answer is A. True. Explanation. Oncology massage offered to cancer patients is helpful in relieving stress and anxiety, as well as aiding in muscle tension and fatigue that come from treatments, medications, and immobility. Number 7. Is the following statement true or false? Cancer patients often have compromised immunity, so it is crucial to keep everything clean by using chemical and fragrance products to sanitize the entire room before the oncology client arrives. A. True. B. False. The answer is B. False. Explanation. It is important to use products that are free of chemicals and fragrances and to sanitize the entire room before the oncology client arrives. This population often has compromised immunity, so keeping everything clean is crucial to the health and well-being of the client. Number 8 which is applied to treat chronic injuries. A. Heat therapy. B. 
Cold therapy. C. Dry therapy. D. Wet therapy. The answer is A. Heat therapy. Explanation. Both hot and cold therapies can help muscles heal. However, using the wrong temperature application for a particular injury can cause more damage. Generally, because of the inflammatory response, cold is used to treat acute injuries, while heat is applied for chronic issues. Cold controls the initial painful inflammatory response and gives the muscles a chance to relax as swelling goes down. Heat stimulates inflammation for muscles that have become locked or adhered in an uncomfortable position. Number 9. What can be an adverse effect of overusing heating packs? A. Dizziness. B. Nausea. C. Burn. D. Headache. The answer is C. Burn. Explanation. It is highly recommended not to overuse hot packs or heating pads because they are so comforting, many clients like to fall asleep on heating pads, which can result in serious burns. Number 10. What is an important acronym for any acute injury? A. P-R-I-Z-E B. P-R-I-N-C-E C. P-R-O-U-D D. P-R-I-C-E The answer is D. P-R-I-C-E Explanation. Cold packs are used to control inflammation. This is especially useful for acute pain, such as a sprained ankle. An important acronym to remember for any acute injury is PRIC, which stands for protection, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.